Hi, this is Abhinav Joshi, Reference Architect in the Server and Desktop Virtualization Group at NetApp. In this demo, we will walk through the tight integration between Quest V Workspace and the NetApp FlexClone technology to allow rapid provisioning of hundreds to thousands of space efficient virtual desktops directly from the V Workspace interface. This integration helps reduce the storage cost per desktop requirement, which has been the major barrier to VDI adoption. Also, it allows provisioning and managing thousands of virtual desktops directly from the v workspace interface. Quest v workspace and NetApp FlexClone integration helps reduce the storage cost per desktop requirement, which has been the major barrier to VDI adoption. Also, it allows provisioning and managing thousands of virtual desktops from a single pane of glass, thereby simplifying the solution administration. Based on the mix of user types in the environment, the NetApp FlexClone technology can be leveraged to provision both persistent and temporary desktops. The FlexClone technology instantaneously creates zero-cost clones to save the storage cost without compromising performance. NetApp deduplication technology strongly complements the Quest V workspace and NetApp FlexClone integration by helping reduce the storage footprint as the clones consume storage over a period of time. Before we dive into the integration demo, let's take a quick look at the Quest V workspace and NetApp FlexClone integration workflow for provisioning space efficient virtual desktops in just a few minutes. The desktop administrator leverages the Quest V workspace interface to create a new computer group or add virtual desktops to existing computer groups. In the Quest V workspace interface, the desktop administrator specifies NetApp FlexClone as the provisioning method. The NetApp FlexClone technology is leveraged to rapidly create space efficient virtual desktops. Upon creation of the virtual desktops, the, de the virtual desktops are populated in the VMware vCenter server and guest customized. Finally, the virtual desktops are available in Quest V workspace to be used by the end users. In this demo, we will create 100 virtual desktops leveraging the Quest V workspace and NetApp FlexClone integration. All the 100 virtual desktops will be provisioned in under 5 minutes and use only 2 gig of storage. Let's log into the VMware vCenter server and verify the space used by the data store in which 100 virtual desktops will be provisioned using Quest V workspace. As we see, currently only 10 gig of space has been used by the data store in which we want to create the 100 virtual desktop. Let's log into the Quest V workspace interface and create a new virtual desktop group with 100 virtual machines. Let's name the desktop group as NetApp FlexClone. Let's select the VMware vCenter server and click next to continue. Let's provide the credentials of the VMware vCenter server and click next to continue. Now we'll enable the virtual desktop group so that the desktops are available for use after creation. Quest V workspace allows provisioning either persistent or temporary desktops. So now uh, the NetApp FlexClone technology can be leveraged to create both types of desktop groups. We will leave everything else default because the focus of this demo is to showcase the strength of V workspace and the NetApp FlexClone integration. Let's enable auto provisioning to maintain a certain number of desktops in the pool. In this example, we will have minimum 100 desktops and a maximum of 200 desktops in the pool. Here we specify creating 100 virtual desktops. Here are the options to specify if the VMware full clone or the NetApp Flex clone technology should be leveraged to create the virtual desktops. Let's select rapid provisioning so that the virtual desktops are created using the NetApp Flex clone technology. Now let's specify the template from which the virtual desktops will be created. Now let's specify the folder and the resource pool in which the virtual desktops will be created. Now let's specify the naming convention for the virtual desktops. 
Now this screen allows you to select the SysPrep customization specification that should be applied to each virtual machine. Now let's click finish to start the provisioning process. The new virtual desktop group has been created and all the virtual machines in the desktop group are getting provisioned. As we see in the VMware vCenter server, the virtual desktops are getting populated. All these virtual desktops have been created leveraging the NetApp FlexClone capabilities without any manual intervention or script to coordinate the task on the storage array. Please note that the VM provisioning start time now is 10.50 am. Now all the 100 virtual desktops have been rapidly created and populated in VMware vCenter server. Please note that the VM provisioning end time is 10.55 am. Leveraging the power of NetApp FlexClone technology, all the virtual desktops have been rapidly provisioned in just 5 minutes. Now let's check the storage consumed to create all the 100 virtual desktops. As we see, only 2 gig of storage has been consumed to provision all these 100 virtual desktops. Back to the Quest vWorkspace interface, all the 100 virtual desktops have been successfully created and are ready to be used. All these 100 virtual desktops are consuming only 2 gig of storage and took only 5 minutes to provision. As the new writes happen to each of these virtual desktops, the storage consumed will grow over time. By leveraging the NetApp deduplication, the daily storage growth can be effectively controlled as it seeks and removes all the duplicate data. Leveraging NetApp Intelligent Caching, optimum de desktop performance can be ensured. Don't forget to check out the NetApp Intelligent Caching demo on the NetApp TV channel on YouTube. To summarize, leveraging the power of Quest v Workspace, NetApp Flex Clone, deduplication and intelligent caching, you will be able to deploy VDI in your environment at significantly lower cost per desktop without impacting end user experience. This has been Abhinav Joshi, Reference Architect in the Server and Desktop Virtualization Group at NetApp. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.